Good man, brother. Thank you very right. much. Can we get a photo right here? You. Good. You working on any Kevin Federline wants an increase in the $40,000 a month of child support he receives from Britney Spears ahead of their son Sean Preston's 18th birthday. Kevin Federline is reportedly looking to ask for an increase in child support from his ex-wife, Britney Spears, just days ahead of his son Sean Preston's 18th birthday. As her duty to provide child support for their eldest ends on Thursday as he reaches the age of majority, a source told TMZ that the father of six, 45, feels that he never bargained on having the kids full-time when they hashed out the terms of support. The insider claimed that the former backup dancer is thinking of going to court to request support modifications. After Sean Preston's birthday this week, Spears' monthly child support payment is expected to go from $40,000 to $20,000. However, a source close to Spears tells DailyMail.com that is not accurate. There is no basis for it, and it would be ridiculous. Kevin has been paid exorbitant monies, and one would think if he needed more money he would, at last, obtain a job. The former couple also share a 17-year-old son named Jaden James. TMZ also reported that if Kevin asks for an increase, the 41-year-old singer's court-ordered child support could balloon if he proves he needs more money for 100% of Jaden's care. At this time, the outlet stated Jaden's support will stay intact until around June 2025 when he graduates high school. Earlier this month, DailyMail.com reported that Spears felt relieved that she will no longer have to shell out tens of thousands in child support each month. Brittany is relieved that Sean is turning 18 on September 14th because she is tired of paying Kevin the insane amount of money he is getting, a source close to the singer who has been estranged from Sean and his younger sibling for more than a year tells DailyMail.com exclusively. Kevin moved his entire family, including Sean, Jaden, and his other four kids, to Hawaii, where his current wife, Victoria Prince, reportedly got a teaching position at the University of Hawaii. There was widespread speculation that this was done so that Kevin could continue collecting money for Sean and Jaden. In California, child support ends when a child graduates high school or turns 19, whichever comes first. Child support laws differ in Hawaii in that a parent can collect child support until the kid turns 23 if their child is enrolled in a college or a vocational school. Being Sean graduated high school in June, many assumed that Kevin was going to use this loophole. However, under the revised statute 576B611, 2016, if child support was established in another state than the state in which it was established as exclusive jurisdiction, stating verbatim, in a proceeding to modify a child support order, the law of the state that is determined to have issued the initial controlling order governs the duration of the obligation of support. This means that Brittany's child support payments for Sean will end on September 14th. The Grammy winner has had a rough month. As fans know, her third husband, 29-year-old Sam Askery, filed for divorce after 14 months of marriage on August 16th, citing irreconcilable differences. He is requesting spousal support from her, which will not likely happen considering that they have an airtight prenuptial agreement in place. Kevin, who Brittany married in 2004 and divorced three years later in 2007, was not able to get spousal support either due to the iron lock prenup that was established prior to their marriage. But that doesn't mean that Kevin has not been able to cash in. Aside from Sean and Jaden, Kevin has four other children, two daughters with his wife, Victoria, and a son and daughter with his ex, Shar Jackson. One year after Britney's chaotic divorce from Kevin, she suffered a mental breakdown that had her locked into a conservatorship under her 71-year-old dad, Jamie, from 2007 until 2021. As a result, Kevin got sole physical and legal custody of the boys. In May 2018, Kevin requested an increase in child support for both of their sons by $40,000 a month from $20,000 to $60,000. Britney's dad Jamie rebuffed Kevin's initial request. The case was sealed and it is not known how much of an increase, if any, Kevin got. Court documents at the time revealed that Britney paid an extra $15,000 a month for school and extracurricular activities, bringing the total payments made to Kevin each month to $35,000. 
That means, for the past 15 years, Brittany has been paying a minimum of $420,000 a year to Kevin. The documents also stated that she paid her father $128,000 a year to act as her conservator and she coughed up $384,126.38 for other expenses, including bills and food. Her net worth at the time was determined to be $56,562,912.38. Kevin's plans to move his sons to Hawaii first came to light in May, and a source told DailyMail.com at the time that Brittany had always supported the move. The source said that Brittany has always been a loving and supportive mother, and has never opposed the plan for her sons to relocate. Brittany loves her children, has always supported them, and wants them to be happy, they said. Putting aside that she is an icon, loved and respected by millions throughout the world, she has been a loving and supportive mother, faithfully supporting her children. The source also slammed Kevin for creating a false dispute when Brittany has never interfered with his plan to move their children to Hawaii. This comes after Kevin gave her a deadline to approve his plan to move their sons to Hawaii or threatened to go to court to get a judge to sanction the move. Kevin's lawyer Mark Vincent Kaplan told TMZ he had asked Spears lawyer Matthew Rosengart several times to send a letter or email stating the pop star was okay with the move, but he had not received anything. It was also claimed at the time that Brittany hadn't seen her sons in more than a year. Brittany has previously shared her heartache at having a strained relationship with her beloved sons. One year ago, Kevin was slammed after giving an explosive interview with 60 Minutes Australia. The interview included footage of him with his family, as well as clips of their kids. The former backup dancer said that the boys have decided they are not seeing her right now, noting it has been a difficult few months for them since a judge ruled to end her 13-year conservatorship. He also said that it affected him greatly to see her meltdown after the end of their marriage. I was mortified for her. I really was, he said, adding, I still feel bad. Regarding his marriage to Brittany, Kevin said, it was amazing until it wasn't. Brittany responded to Kevin's shocking interview on Instagram on August 6, 2022. It saddens me to hear that my ex-husband has decided to discuss the relationship between me and my children, she wrote. As we all know, raising teenage boys is never easy for anyone. It concerns me the fact that the reason is based on my Instagram. It was long before Instagram. I gave them everything. Only one word, hurtful. Sam also weighed in, writing, The boys are very smart and will be 18 soon to make their own decisions and may eventually realize the tough part was having a father who hasn't worked much in over 15 years as a role model. Brittany and Kevin dated for three months in 2004 before getting engaged in July of that year. They were married two months after that, in September 2004. The pop superstar gave birth to Sean in September of 2005 and Jaden followed about a year later in 2006, but she filed for divorce in November 2006, with it being finalized the following year. Brittany is now preparing to release her memoir, The Woman in Me, in November.